Hello everyone and welcome back to Atari Vault. Today we're going to be playing Stellar Track, where apparently we become the commander of a starship or some not. Alright, let's look at the manual here and see what we got. Yes, game instructions made by Telegames and Sears. So not actually an Atari original, but Atari has the rights? That seems very strange to me, especially since like Dig Dug, Load Runner, and Joust aren't in this collection. Somehow Atari doesn't have the rights to those, which I don't understand at all. Okay, so... Oh, I need to actually use my controller to zoom in here. There we go. So it's been 2,000 years since the unification of our planet, and we Terrans have peacefully excelled in art, philosophy, and science. Our technology has mastered all but one problem, the hyperwarp drive, which will enable us to travel to other planets. Trapped in our own solar system for lack of the hyperwarp drive, there seems to be no way out until we are discovered by extraterrestrial life. These aliens are anxious to trade their hyperwarp technology for Terran art and science to revitalize their stagnant culture. Why would their culture be stagnant? They have all of the galaxy, and assuming they're terraforming and colonizing all of it, that's a hundred billion stars with a hundred billion life formed how would you how would you possibly be stagnant okay that's just alien to me that's i mean i expect when we colonize mars and eventually it's gonna happen some fool's gonna get into his idea i mean elon musk is already halfway there so you know but the martians given like i don't know a generation maybe less are gonna be vastly different than the people of earth vastly not just like genetically, which is already going to be a huge deal because they're going to be like genetically, either genetically modified on purpose or by accident of radiation or something. But they're going to be radically different than we are just looking at them. They're going to be tall and wispy and, you know, because less gravity. They're going to live longer because less gravity. Um, and I expect that their art to reflect what it's like to live on Mars where you can't actually breathe the air and you're stuck inside all the time. I mean, it's, it's got to make a whole different kind of thought process and ideas and, you know, different bastions of creativity. So just on Mars, imagine what it would be like on like, you know, I don't know, planet Z beta 8 or something like that, you know, 40,000 light years away where the sky is, I don't know, a bright purple most of the day I mean maybe it's not all that different you know maybe the purple sky is the only thing that's really different but I don't know would that change your outlook it'll make a blue tint on all the world would that be a little bit weird I don't know maybe eventually your eyes filter out the blue tint I mean it seems like eventually not to mention not to mention and I realize I'm off on a tangent here but not to mention that you put a group of people together and they're gonna come up with some kind of individual culture just by themselves. You can tell this just by looking at like, well, the internet for one, okay? I mean, you put a bunch of people together and they're gonna have arguments, they're gonna disagree, they're gonna agree on a lot of things or disagree on a lot more maybe. Um, but I mean, you separate a culture out from itself. I mean, you just look at the planet Earth. I mean, originally we were all one tribe of who knows how many small dozens of people and then we split off for whatever reason and colonize the rest of the planet look how many cultures we have how could you possibly have a single stagnant empire it does not make sense anyway 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 as time passes we Terrans just expand our empire through interstellar trade and the use of hyperwar technology increasingly the Terrans the aliens compete over the riches of the universe well, okay, there's only a finite number of resources, even though the empire or the universe is vast, it's not infinite. So, okay, eventually it's going to happen. Um, we develop phased energy weapons, phasers, and the four shields, while the aliens insist on escorting their merchant envoys with warships. Tensions begin to grow. Terran government, distracted by the House of Viceroy, decides to build an indestructible star fleet and two galactic star bases, two, really just two. I hate you already, House of, House of Viceroy's to ensure cosmic military supremacy. The invention of deadly photon launcher and the virtual inv invis invisibility? Okay, their location is a closely guarded secret. We turns feel the single super warship can keep the scattered alien fleet in check. You are the captain and sole commander of that warship. 
Hold up. Hold up. Your indestructible Starfleet is made up of one ship. Have you never heard of single point of failure? While the Viceroys are relaxing and confident in our military superiority, the alien Council of Elders ruled the Terran culture has to be destroyed. So to be done before alien dominance the Tevin has lost and the trans Terran Starship Commander, you must throw back the alien invasion. Alright. Let's do it. I mean, I've spent so long babbling about things that I've actually lost a little bit of playtime here. But anyway... Okay, there's a galactic map on the left. That's a lot of things to tie to one movement. Galactic map, warp, status, short range scan, photon, phasers, long range scan. Apparently it's a menu you go through. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be a menu. Um, once you select the size mission you want, press the red control button, the galactic map will appear. Flashing towards the bottom of the screen, total letter of seven commands available. Command to select the joystick, then with the control. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, so it's just move left or move right. The menu item is totally. It should say, like, select menu item. That would make a lot more sense. It's also weird it's left, right, and not up, down, but okay. Okay, only being these mission, you must learn how and when to use each command. You must learn how to deal with other mission factors. So there's a difference between the quadrant sector, what Starbase to do for you, and so on. Galaxy, spelled with the IE, which is weird, divided into 36 quadrants. Each quadrant is divided into 64 sectors. Do you realize how big the galaxy is? 36 quadrants for a galaxy would be what? Maybe, I don't know, 10,000 stars? It's a huge amount of space, and depending on this, you know, which sector of the galaxy we're talking about. Each one of those in the 64 sectors. So even so, sector is going to include, like, I don't know, at least 100 stars. Maybe at least a dozen, depending on how you divide them up. Okay. Use long range scan to see which squadrons contain aliens. Use the warp command to travel or jump among the quadrants. Use a short range scan to see which sectors contain alien star bases. Use photon phaser to destroy aliens, or destroy, depending. Use a status command to keep track of the aliens. Use star bases to refuel and repair. Use galaxy map to coordinate the entire mission. Use a notepad and pencil to keep track of all the above. Because they know it's already too much to understand. Holy fuck. It's like a turn-based strategy game, basically. If you run out of time, start eight, or fuel, energy, the Terrans must surrender to the aliens. Um... Hold up. Why does it matter? Why does it matter how much time you take? Naturally, you save the galaxy ring tends to be higher. If you waste resources to end, you still might be reduced to cadet. But why would you run out of time? You're, you're in front of an invincible starship, supposedly. Okay, let's, let's try playing here and see what happens. Yeah, okay, your mission is destroy 11 alien warships and 17 stardates. Okay. I mean, that's less than one per stardate, so maybe? Um, yeah, galaxy map, because that's what we have to do first. Um, okay. Long range scan, obviously. I mean, all I'm doing is pressing the A button so far. Okay. So we have 10 in one, 20 in the other. Um... No, not long range scan. I want to use photon, I guess. I have no idea what photon four, five, six, seven means. And eight. Why also is it phasing in and out here? That's really annoying. Photon course. Okay, apparently I skipped over too much of this. So let's go back to main menu. Photon course don't understand okay short ridge scan all right we need to warp first right 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 so short ridge scan doesn't actually work so we do a long range scan six by six chart which is the contents of the quadrant you're in plus all joining or adjacent quadrants all right we know any quadrant with the aliens they will fire you one by one after you lose our scan 
Okay, but how do we tell where we are? Starbase, alien starbase, alien. I can't actually read which is which. But okay, I'm assuming zero, zero is the empty quadrant, and then the quadrant we're in is denoted. I got that. Each quadrant contains 64 sectors. Short range scan is an A by H chart to enables you to see what exactly is contained in your quadrant by showing you what's in each of the 64 sectors. Okay, so we do need to do short range scan first after long range scan. And then warp into the course number, which is the direction you want to travel. This is done by moving the joystick to right or left. Eight possible directions to move within corresponding numbers is shown in figure five, right? The number you want is displayed. Press the red controller button to enter it. Right, we're just cycling through numbers, but still. You cannot warp through a star in your quadrant. Okay, that makes sense. You must enter zero for the first number since you do not want to move quadrants, only sectors. So we're moving within the same quadrant, sector to sector, okay. This is so immensely complicated. Okay. You start with nine torpedoes. All nine torpedoes are automatically replaced whenever you dock at a star base. Eight different directions you can fire a photon torpedo in. Okay, so three would be like 90 degrees to my right. Seven would be 90 degrees to my left. Five would be down. I mean, that's weird. Why not just say down or counterclockwise or I don't know seven o'clock or something or even like use yeah why don't you use a clock i guess because you don't have enough um enough directions for a clock but do like i mean i realize it makes no sense to do northeast southwest because there's no relative position in space for that but come on how does eight mean you know northwest how does that even I don't I don't understand but okay and firing energy probably okay so you do not have to be directly in line with aliens to destroy your damage with the phasers so you just assign the energy units for the phaser which is deducted from energy supply and then the phasers automatically fire okay and then if it's more energy than they have it blows them up okay um so this is a really super complicated game that i'm not going to be able to give good credence to because we're already halfway through this episode and i don't know what the fuck i'm doing so let's reset the game and then we'll go in again okay uh, 15 aliens and 16 star date sounds actually worse but okay so galaxy map all right then we scan long range scan all right Next thing we do is a short range scan. There we are. Um, I got nothing though. This is not where we want to be though. I mean, there's stars. We can't move against the stars. Can we do a long range scan again? So assuming we're in the middle, three, five, sector five, five. So yeah. Yeah, we're in the middle of that little dot. That makes sense. So we need to go up. So warp drive, right? Um, warp. And I want to go... I want to go up, which is one, I believe. Yes, one is up. That's right. So factor one, because we only want to move one sector. Um, okay, I don't know why I turned red there. I guess just because we're now the point where we're fucked because 15 aliens in 15 star dates seems ridiculous. Okay, galaxy map. Give me a long range scan. Okay, we did move up. There's supposedly aliens here. So give me a. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we just got hit. So short range scan. Yep, there's an alien right there. So tell you what, yeah, we just got hit again. That's fair. Um, we're going to go ahead and phaser him. 300 units of... I mean, that seems ridiculous, doesn't it? I'm going to reduce that to 100. Um, no, 100. 
50 unit hit on alien at sector 3, 2, 49 left. Okay. Well, okay, 300 would have been total overkill. 50 unit hit, 49 left. Doesn't that mean we only took one away? We expended 100 energy to do one da damage, that's it? You seriously? 12 unit hit, I have no idea what the hell our health is like. Can I, yeah, status. Energy is 2730. Engines are at negative seven, that's unfortunate. Okay, so let's do, we're not lined up with them, but we can move slightly. Though that requires a warp. So what we have to do is do like a course. I want to move one, but that means we start this with zero and we move up by like two. Yep, we just got hit again. That's fair. Give me a short range scan. I'm about to be hit again. Okay. Apparently it didn't work the way I thought it did. But we're still more or less lined up. If we do a photon, aim it northwest, we should be totally fine, right? We already know how to do that because I made sure I made a point of talking about northwest. I made a point about talking these, about these things in a way that I would understand. I can't use my photons. That's bad. Why can't I use my photons? Status. Photons are at nine. Yeah, that's how many I have. Well, my launcher's at negative four. Okay, so my launcher's damaged. Well, that sucks. They got a lucky hit, I guess. Um, all right, so then fire with the photon cannon because I don't have anything else. Sorry, the phaser is what I actually meant. Yeah, 300 units, why not? 333, sure, go for it. Alien destroyed. That might have been more than I actually needed to do. But all right, now we go ahead and do long range scan. Okay, so aliens to our left, and I believe the two means that, well, either there are two aliens or that's where the star base is. I would assume that'd be where the star base is. Let's try it. Let's try doing a warp. Um, so. We will warp, um, so we want to move one, right? Right, we want to move one away, but we want to move up and to the right, which I think is goes off the factor. So like one, one, would I think do it? Then we need to explore again or do a long range scan. Um, we move diddly and squat combined. How the hell? I thought if we wanted to stay in the same sector, we'd hit zero. But if we wanted to move a sector, we'd hit one. Why the hell didn't that work? Okay, we'll warp again then. Course seven. I wonder... And basically that should have moved us up, but it didn't. So really what I want is course two, assuming it works in the same directional rotation as the weapon firing. So that should move me off to the side, theoretically. And I don't know, I thought I wanted factor one, but maybe I don't. Maybe I want two zero? Seems weird to me, but we can try it. Okay, now I expect to be hit when I do a long range scan here, but that's just what I have to take. And I still don't... Oh, maybe I did move. Yeah, quadrant 3, 4, sector 7, 1. So I'm staying inside the same quadrant. But I am changing sectors. Alright, so I need to change my factor by a magnitude, I would suppose. Alright. So we're going to warp again. Of course, it's going to be 2 again. And let's go highest number possible. Nine, nine. Okay, now go ahead and give me a long range scan. Um, still in the same sector, still in the same quadrant. The fuck? <laughs> the actual fuck though. Can I not know? Can I not go that way? Hold up. Let me look at my status. Engines are okay. Everything's okay. 
Uh, my energy sucks. Started at zero three, and it's sure a lot of aliens left. I have no freaking clue. All right, let's warp. Um, let's go like s three, I guess. Let's see if we can approach it from the other side, maybe. I have no idea what factor even means anymore. Six six, sure. And we died somehow. What? 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 Try that again. Yeah, go to the galaxy map. I'm in quadrant 4-1, if you say so. Give me a long range scan. Okay, apparently there's a 3 here. What the hell does that even mean? Yep, we just got hit. Three times, so there's three aliens here. Okay, good to know. Short range scan. Okay, there are a lot of guys here. Well, if the photon works... Which I don't know if it does or not, because we just got hit a whole bunch. Um, so tell you what, we'll try Photon. And I want it to go 8. Okay, there we go. No problem. The other guys are not lined up, though. Unless I go 2. If I go 2 up, they'll theoretically be lined up. Or I can just use phasers. But I think... Yeah, okay, we just got hit. Just got hit. We're going to die here is what's going to happen. Um, so, okay, warp. We want to go ahead and do course one, which should send us upwards. Factor of zero, because we want to stay in the same sector. And two up. I hope that's what that means. It did work. It did work. Okay, so I do understand the movement. It's just for some reason it didn't work originally for me. That was weird. Okay, so this should work with the photon. No problem. Course three, actually. Should send it right off to them. There we go. And the last guy's gonna try to destroy me. Did a decent job, but the photon cannons mean that he is no match. There we go, alien destroyed. And for some reason now it's green. This is all a very strange chick color scheme, but okay. Okay, long range scan. So now there is zero in my position. There are three diagonally to me, and I think that's where we should go, assuming I can actually use warp the way I think it needs to be done. So yeah, warp. What do we got? So I want to move diagonally. So eight is northwest. Seven is west. That means six is what I want. That's right, because five is straight down. Some stupid thing I don't even understand. Okay, so I want to move one sector to the southwest here and or sorry not one sector one quadrant i think is what i actually mean quadrant three two sector two seven okay give me the galaxy map and then give me a long range scan i moved in an interesting position but where i am should be the middle of that and that means there are three aliens so okay it worked here. Why didn't it work before? I am so very terribly confused. Okay, so we got hit. No big deal. I expect to get hit. Short range scan. Okay. They placed themselves in a bad spot. Um, at least we can hit the guys directly. Yeah, so the photon cannon aimed northeast will hit. Photon cannon aimed directly north will hit. But the alien between the two stars, we're going to have to do something special for, I guess. Assuming they don't just blow up my photon cannon, which is very possible. Okay, so let's try it with the photon. Photon course is one because we want to go straight up. There we go. Thank you. We're going to get hit by two times. That's fine. Photon cannon again, please. And this time, we want to do two, don't we? Yeah, yeah, two should be diagonal. There we go. Thank you very much. All right, and then the alien. Last one hit with the phasers. Sure, 300 units. 333, what the hell? Boom, destroyed. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Um, Status. We're start at 63, and there are 52 aliens. Um, help. 
the fuck? I didn't pay attention. How long do I have to do this? How long do I have? I'm guessing it's significantly less than I want it to be. Holy shit, man. That's a hell of a lot of aliens. Um, let's look at the galactic map here. Now, there are zero aliens in my position, but there should be three aliens down below. So I'm guessing if there's a number in the second position that indicates a star base, but of course we don't know where that's going to be. So, right, so I guess we just warp then. And we want to go downward, so that's five. And then we want to go one sector and what the hell, or one quadrant and then one sector. Okay, I expect to be in a problem here, so let's look at short range scan. Um, why can't I do short range scan? You shouldn't me. I have to look at long range scan first. Every time, really? I'm just gonna get creamed that way. I was trying to avoid that. And then I need to do short range scan because I, otherwise I don't know where the hell I need to aim anything. Oh, the short range scanner's broken. Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on? Yeah, we're fucked. We are totally boned. Um, that's a problem. I could theoretically do this purely on phasers. It would take a lot of energy. Okay. Um, he still survived that, though. That's a problem. And then they hit back equally as hard. Um, that was a hell of a lot of damage. Did we do... I think we spread out the damage across the three and then they hit us back. Is that what just happened? I'm a little confused. Here, we're going to keep this at 310. Why not? 310 is good. Alien destroyed. Second alien destroyed. Third alien survived. He has 53 left. So why don't we go ahead and try to hit him with only 53 and see if that works. I don't know if that's actually going to work, but it might. 53. 10 unit hit, so he has 43 left. I don't understand. We're actually really low on energy now. Okay. Phasers. You know what? 300. Fuck it. Do it. 300. There we go. Now he's dead. Uh, so galactic map. Well, short range scanners being destroyed is definitely a problem. So we're at 2-8. And we're 3-3 three, three in the terms of quadrants. Okay, so basically in the center of the map there. Um, we have a hell of a lot of aliens to destroy, but don't worry. We're going to die before that happens. Um, yeah, don't worry. We're going to die. That's probably not the most reassuring thing I've ever said. So why don't we go ahead and go down, and we'll jump down one quadrant and one sector. I mean, apparently it doesn't seem to matter... Wrench scan still broken. Um, it doesn't seem to matter what sector we're in, or it only seems to matter what quadrant we're in. So theoretically, there are aliens here, though they haven't actually fired at us. They haven't, have they? I'm gonna fire this anyway. Yep, and there was an alien there, so that was a good bet. Alien destroyed, and another one wasn't. Okay, well then, you know, fire phasers again. We're rapidly running out of energy, though. Which means the game's going to be over one way or the other, whether we like it or not. Alien destroyed, and that should have been the last alien, so that was it. Um, go ahead and do a long-range scan. Yep, there we go. Well, we can destroy maybe one more alien. But what the hell, man? No guts, no glory. Let's go out in a blaze of glory. Let's do a warp. And we're going to warp down to where those other three aliens are. And we died. <laughs> okay. Or the galaxy must surrender, I guess. All right. Anyway, that was Stellar Track, which is weird. But once I got into it, I think it actually kind of worked. I don't think I did justice to it. But there's definitely some interesting strategy there. And I kind of glossed over a lot of the parts of the manual. So that's my fault. But anyway... That's Stellar Track. Interesting game. In the Atari Vault, I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.